Hello and welcome to the BMC Quick Course Series. My name is Thomas Smith and I'm the lead technical support based in Austin, Texas. In this session I'll show you some of the configuration considerations for MainView products. MainView products are designed so that configured elements generally persist across product upgrades without changes. The bypass configuration option may be used in this situation if all MainView products being installed exist in your shop and are just being upgraded to the new release. Check the product release notes for any new parameters that might need to be manually added to the existing parameter members. If you have a mixture of new and upgraded MainView products, you can select a subset of products to configure. From the Execute Project menu, select Configuration Option 3 to set selected product or component values. All products will have runtime datasets with SMPE content copied to them. Other datasets used for product operation are non-VSAM and VSAM datasets. User Libs are allocated using the non-VSAM high-level qualifier. These datasets do not contain SMPE content. This panel does show different high-level qualifiers for those datasets, but that is not a requirement. If you are installing any MainView product, you will see the note that is highlighted indicating that the MainView products are limited to 21 characters in MainView configuration for the non-VSAM and VSAM high-level qualifiers. If you are only installing MainView products, you may wish to keep the high-level qualifiers the same and limit them to 21 characters here. If you are installing DB2, IMS, or other non-MainView products along with MainView, you might want to use longer high-level qualifiers here for those products. In the main view configuration panels, you can specify up to 21 characters for those high-level qualifiers. From the Execute Project menu, select Configuration Option 3 to set selected product or component values. Select Option 4 from the Configure Products or Components menu. The next few slides will show a representative sample of main view configuration panels. On the Configure Main View Products menu, if you already have the MainView products from a previous release and do not need to configure any new MainView products, then select the option to bypass MainView configuration. If you do need to configure MainView products, select option 1 to configure sysplexes, systems, and allocation values. As mentioned earlier, if your high-level qualifier for non-VSAM and VSAM datasets was longer than 21 characters, it will be truncated in these dialogues as indicated by the message at the top of the screen. This panel allows you to configure the main view products at a sysplex or system level. If you know that you will be deploying to multiple sysplexes or systems, you can type R on the first row or R followed by the number of times to replicate that row. Then you can define the information for all environments at the same time. This panel shows how your environment can be replicated for configuring the MainView products across a sysplex or system. As you can see, the non-VSAM and VSAM high-level qualifiers have been truncated to 21 characters from what you entered on the runtime panel. You may change these values if you want. Other allocation values are required on subsequent panels in this dialog. After completing option 1 for configuring sysplexes and systems, select option 2 to configure the main view products. On this panel, you may select the products that you want to configure. Some products, such as main view infrastructure, may be required prior to proceeding to JCL generation. Depending on which products you selected to configure on the previous panel, those product specific panels will be displayed. In this example, MainView for DB2 was selected to be configured. Similar to Sysplex system panels, you may replicate the rows if you know you will be deploying these products to other environments. Subsequent panels will be displayed depending on the product. Once you have configured a product, the complete status will be shown on the Configure MainView Products panel. If the products that are required to be configured have been marked complete, you can PF3 and proceed to JCL generation. Once options 1 and 2 are complete, you can PF3 and proceed to JCL generation. Options 3, 4, and 5 are optional. Option 3 is only needed if you have a comma-separated value file containing configuration values that you now want to import. These values will be used when generating JCL. 
Option 4 is only needed if you want to export the configuration values to a comma separated values file to use as a backup or to import later into another project. Option 5 is only needed if you want to reset all the configuration values that you set through options 1 and 2 and then start over. Option 6 to bypass main view configuration is disabled once you begin configuring the main view products. After UPF3 from Configure Main View Products menu, the steps to complete main view configuration are shown. On the next panel to be displayed, you can use Option 7 to apply product passwords and then Option 8 to generate JCL. Run all the jobs in order. The $910CNFG job will have comments indicating which sysplexes and systems to run it on, depending on the information that you have entered in the previous panels. Review the dollar checklist member in the staging SAMP dataset to complete configuration of the main view products. Once you have gone through all the configuration panels for the main view products, you will return to the configure products or components menu and the configure main view products option will be marked complete. After all configuration options are marked complete on this menu, you can proceed to JCL generation either by selecting option 8 from this panel or option 5 from the execute project panel. The option will not be enabled until all configuration activities are complete. However, the configuration activities can be completed in any order. All of the jobs pertaining to the main view products will be in the $900 series of jobs. The $910 CNFG job for the main view products has comments indicating which sysplex or system on which to submit the job. This information came from the rows that were replicated when you configured the sysplex and system values as well as the rows for product specific values. Main view products may have dependencies on other generated jobs as well. For example, if infrastructure is required by the main view products, $3 and $4 series jobs may also be generated. It may be necessary to run the $3 jobs if you are deploying to a new sysplex, or the $4 jobs if you are deploying to a new LPAR. Review the quick course on product deployment for more information. As mentioned previously, the dollar checklist member in the staging SAMP dataset will have other tasks that need to be completed before configuration of the main view products can be considered completed. Follow the checklist items in order. Other $9 jobs will have been generated into the non-VSAM staging SAMP dataset. This is an example of other $9 jobs that could be generated depending on the main view products being installed. As you can see, some $9 jobs may be generated for each system depending on how you intend to deploy the products. Thank you for your time. For more information on any BMC mainframe product, please visit the URL shown here.